But they were both drunk. But I heard they were good but friends. But I heard they were dating. Look at what she was wearing. She was asking she was for, asking it. for it. it. She never she says no. She gets around. She That's just how she is. She What's the big What's deal? What's the big deal? I heard he likes her. But that was last year. That happened forever ago. Everyone else was doing it. Did you see the way that they were dancing? She came on to him. Have you seen her profile pics? Once we got started, I couldn't stop. Once we got started. You may have heard explanations such as these for why it wasn't rape, as if the rapist isn't responsible for their behavior while drunk. Courts have held that even perpetrators who have blacked out due to alcohol or drug consumption are responsible for their own behavior. Ultimately, having sex is a mutual decision. Both parties must be aware and sober enough to understand their decisions. No means no. I'm not in the mood means no. Silence means no. I really like you, but means no. I'm not sure means no. Only yes means yes. Well, you get the point. This brings us to the date rape drug. You should know that the number one date rape drug is alcohol, and the others include rohypnol, GHB, and ketamine, which have a variety of street names. Remember that the taste of date rape drugs is often masked in drinks, especially sweet ones and your drink does not need to be alcoholic to be spiked. Symptoms can include loss of coordination, problems seeing or focusing, dizziness, and slurred speech. So be aware. Trust your instincts. If something doesn't feel right, get somewhere safe. Help a friend get to safety. It can save your life. It can save your friend's life. You may be wondering, what if two people who have been drinking hook up? Hooking up implies that both people involved still have the capacity to consent. So when is that line crossed? If the person you are with is slurring his or her words, falling down, or passing out, that person is no longer able to consent. Alcohol affects people differently. Remember, if you are taking prescription drugs, alcohol can affect you more than usual. You may have noticed that these presentations focus on female victims. We can't ignore the statistics that women experience 96% of the sexual violence in our society. But men can and do experience rape, sexual harassment, domestic or dating violence, and stalking. If you are a man who has experienced sexual misconduct, human resources and health services offices are there for you. Sexual assault also happens within the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender questioning community and we are here to help you too.